Hello friends and welcome to another replay and this is uh, the Su-152 replay on Fisherman's Bay against Deer Nines. If you have seen the previous replay about it, about the gun handling and that, you'll find it very capable and we like the derp gun because it can shoot uh, damage. Um, of course the AP and heat might not be uh, very suitable against your nines, unless they are you know, soft targets. Other than that, you can't count on the accuracy pretty much, and except when you, you know when you shoot in the HE, you kind of you know have expectations of some damage. The Su-152 cannot face your nines. Like head on, one on one, she will lose. So what you can do is use the um, use your camo rating, snipe from far, try to inflict as much damage as possible, and because it is a big Soviet tank. This camo rating is not the best, and that's why we got spotted. Now, we're not sure if we got spotted by the IS-3, or we got spotted by the T-49. And the, quite honestly, the only thing that can't spot us from this distance is the T-49. The T-21 might have a chance, but uh, the T-49 has greater view range. doing here is we're trying to stay away from the enemy view range, trying to avoid RT shells, trying to, you know, you have to control the engagement, especially in a, you know, lower tier. Right now we're testing if we get spotted or not, and so far we have not been spotted like before. And we're seeing the enemy going down the one line, so staying up there would be used, especially when we have a tank right in front of us. Myself and Kimesian, we are on team speak. We're trying to talk and uh, organize our first attack. And there you go, HE shell to the IS-3, no damage, but certainly did hurt his modules. Alright, we have not been spotted yet. And we have a heavy tank, hiding in the back, medium tanks, also hiding in the back, right there. A scout tank that only now decided to move. Enemy is hit. Now, did you see that? 921 in one shot against that T-34. That's absolutely beautiful. Shots like that are what makes you come back again and again to play tanks like this. It's just amazing. There you go, another big hit. 806 damage. Now, ironically, I did not get spotted in the Su-152, but Kemisian and his jury did. And it's most likely because he fired when the T-49 was closing in on us. Alright, so we're pushing. And uh, I had to follow him. 
hopefully I don't get spotted or I'll get obliterated by the T-30. spotted us and shot. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't the uh, Type 61 that spotted us, it was the T-43. But the Type 61, definitely the one who shot us to get advantage of. Now this is a risky move. I got spotted and stayed in the same spot. You know, not worried about artillery, not worried about the T30, not worried about anything. Probably because they're all busy killing everything else on the K line. Permission to engage. Now that was a shot to make sure, you know, there's nothing in the way. If I Target break a building, then I probably can shoot that T-34-1. There's that dangerous T-30, it can do between 700 to 800 damage a shot, so, uh, yep, we're pretty much one-shotable for him. That one missed. I believe it hit one of the poles, but, um, we'll see. Now, did you see how that rooftop broke? That means there was a very big significant hit, and I'm thinking it hit that uh, T-30 in the turret. Otherwise, we would see some kind of explosion over the rooftop of the house in the back to be breaking up. versus T-9s. We can't do much about the T-60, the Type 61 and the T-30 at the moment, especially if we have no idea where that scout, the T-21, is. Now, Kemisian, he decided, you know, to follow the instructions of uh, um, the other teammates. Very bad shot, just went straight to the ground. Now the Type 61 is very soft. Um, you can see the damage when he, sh when he shot us was at 17. That means he's using probably the stun gun. and keep moving. Never stop. See, it was a bad idea to go for the enemy camp right away. Seriously, because have no idea what's going on. If you go out there, you probably will be spotted by the T-30 or the T-21, who you have absolutely no idea where he is. He could be on their cab, 
AFK or just being a bot, you know? If you go out there, you get spotted, you're dead. You go on their cab, you announce your position, your location. The enemy will know it. But right now, the biggest threat are out. Five minute warning. We have established that the T-21 is not here. Artillery is probably hiding in K-89 or maybe even hit behind the bridge. And the reason why we decide to stay here because everyone would expect you to be on the other side. But we don't need to be there because we, we're not hiding from the midsection. We already know where the enemy is or at least have an idea. Now we have a, you know, a definite location on the T-21, we know where he is. The leopard going for the artillery and he gets juked. Ah, oh, so unlucky. And because Artie has a long reload time, it's safe to engage Lucky baby. There we go. See that? 352 damage. That was a pen shot, and he absolutely had no chance on earth to do anything. Absolutely nothing. And with that, we win, and we go to the uh, battle stats and uh, see how it went. Battle. A bruiser. Duelist, fighter, fire for effect. For tier 7 versus 9, we scored the top damage on our team with 3536 damage with 4 kills and top XP of 1431. Unfortunately, we did not get our high caliber. That one belongs to the T 30, who did extremely well in the midsection, and we were right to avoid him at all costs. We see from the battle report that uh, we managed to get enough experience, more than enough experience, but look at the credit, 41,537. In total, you know, like, it, that's what we netted out that, it's, it's beautiful. This is why we come back again and again to play this thing, you know, and these shots that you take on the uh, on tanks like we did on the T-34 scoring the 921 damage and the blind shot on that T-30 for 397 we must have hit his turret or uh, somewhere and it was really 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 worth it Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you like this replay, and um, I hope to see you on the battlefield, and you have good luck out there, and see you next time. Thank you very much for being here.